It's an R1150RT that stripped the splines at 24,000. Um, shaft was replaced with a new OEM shaft. Clutch disc was replaced with an OEM clutch disc. 7,000, less than 7,000 miles later, the fucker stripped again. I changed the transmission and put another clutch disc in. Stock disc. This was before the modified disc was available. And it seems to be holding up fairly well. I mean, it's only been 2,000 miles since then. Uh, but anyway, we're putting the modified disc in today. So this little video segment is just to show that this can be short cutted. Leave all this crap together. <coughs> Be careful of the line when you pivot all of this 90 degrees to the side. And that gives you access to your clutch plate. So it's a little bit easier if you're going to do a spline lube on one of these to do it this way. Uh, these rear U-joint splines really don't need to be re-lubricated and you're supposed to change those every 40,000 miles anyway, the drive shaft, uh, $700 in 2012 prices. And uh, so anyway, that's it. We're going to change the disc. This slave cylinder has failed and that's going to be replaced and it's going to go back together and get a new tire and bleed the system, make sure it works, and change engine oil and filter if it is due. And the uh, panel's back on and this thing's done. Hopefully it's out of here by the weekend. All right, this bike, um, new clutch and everything was put in at 32,159 miles, and I forget if the slave cylinder has ever been replaced, I'd have to look at the work order. But anyway, this thing came in last summer, no clutch action, um, bled the system out. It worked okay, sent, sent the customer off with the bike, a month later it's back again, same issue, bled it, and it was fine, and came back a couple weeks later, failed again, and now the fluid level is down. As we see, this is all wet. That is right out of the frickin' slave cylinder. And it's been leaking up through here. And these parts are a little bit dark. They're probably saturated too. So, very important change the slave cylinder. Anytime you have access to this, I would say uh, change the fucking thing. And uh, the Beamer one from Beamer Boneyard is certainly far better than what the OEM BMW one is for some reason. So, that's it. We're going to swap this disc and get some lunch or get some lunch and swap this disc. All right, you can see how wet and glazed this is. Oh yeah, nice and shiny. So that's been slipping all along, which has kind of cooked these parts. I can clean them up. And you see the rivet marks because this thing has been, this disc, friction disc is so saturated with fucking brake fluid from the clutch, and it's been sitting for so long that it just left an impression. It's fucking nice. Oh yeah, this thing is soaked. Great design, BMW. Fucktards.